After 26 years and a long list of famous clients, one Southern Oregon business says it's time. Yeah, they're calling it quits, closing shop after being hit hard by the recession. NBC 5's Matt Jordan joins us live in studio with the story. Matt? Yeah, that's right, guys. Call it a sign of the times. Fiber Optic Lighting Incorporated grants pass is shutting its doors, but not before leaving behind a magical legacy that influenced Southern Oregon and beyond. In downtown Grants Pass, scenes of wise men, angels in the small town of Bethlehem are brought to life thanks to the work of one local business. You light the, the fiber with different colors on the wheel and then you see it on the face of the sign. Hyla Lipson is a co-owner of Fiber Optic Lighting Incorporated. Her business has been a Josephine County fixture for 26 years. All the different places we've sent signs because we've sent them all over the world. But the recession hit fiber optic lighting hard. The staff went from 45 to 6. To the markets really kind of shut down in 2008, so we had to really gather whatever we could, and so now we're closing. The decision to close will leave behind a legacy that extends far beyond Grants Pass. We've done stage signs for Celine Dion, Tony Bennett, Tra Tra Travis Tritt, Trisha Yearwood. While the star-studded clientele couldn't save her business, Lipson says she has a lifetime of experiences to share. Something really decorative, this would be great in a waiting room. Thinking of writing a book. Because um, some of the stories that I have to tell about FAO Schwartz and some of the different things we've done is pretty magic. While Lipson's writing plans are in the works, their work will continue to bring magic to Grants Pass for years to come. Now, Fiber Optic Lighting is holding an auction on December 20th to sell off the rest of their displays and shop materials. Live in studio, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News.